Alrighty, let me get this guy set up. Okay, we're gonna act stupid. Okay, there you go. Stand up. What's the deal, man? It's the boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Back again with another video. Shouts out to everybody supporting the channel, supporting the DMTV Nation, subscribing. Please show your support. Please show support by hitting the like button, comment on the video, even if it's just up, uh, uh, just say, hey, Dwayne, I'm showing support. It could be anything in the comments. Keep the engagement up. So we can keep the videos in the algorithm. At least we can, I can try to even get an algorithm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to everybody supporting me, man. I'm also going to be starting a shorts channel soon. I'm going to try to subscribe to that as well. And that's what I'm probably going to do his own thing. Shorts is the movement. So if you're thinking about doing this YouTube channel, start doing shorts. You know what I'm saying? I don't like doing shorts because I'm long-winded and I'm just a stubborn person and I'd be stuck in my ways. But I'm going to try to do all of them, all right? We're going to be posting shorts on this as well. You know, we're posting shorts everywhere. Shorty, shorty, shorties. All right. Also, donate to the Cash App and the PayPal. Links will be in the description box. Only if you can donate. I know y'all got paid and I know all y'all got money now. You're watching my content. So I know you got money now. You know what I'm saying? I know the term. I'm trying not to curse on this channel too much. But you know you know you got money now. Now, today's video is going to be about Mr. Kai Sennett. I don't know why y'all like these YouTube guys. I don't know why y'all watch them. I don't like Corey Kenshin. I don't like Kai Sennett. I don't like I Show Speed. I don't, these guys are just weird. They're not entertaining. They're not funny. Aiden Ross is not funny. Y'all just watch these people play the game. And it's not even high-level gameplay. It's not even entertaining. Do I watch people play the game? Yes, I do. I'm I, I want my spare time. I like watching professional fi people play fighting games. I like watching my boy Little Majin play Tekken 8. Uh, TMM play Tekken 8. I said Tekken 8. Tekken 7. Uh, I like Punk. I like Smug. Smug's very entertaining. You know what I'm saying? These guys who I'm listing, Kai Sennett, you know, I'm pretty sure they do more than just video game streaming as well. They're YouTubers. What I'm saying is these guys are over the top. You can tell they're trying to be entertaining. It's just not them. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be thinking they're agents or they're acting. When you see my content, you know this is me. If you meet me outside of YouTube, this is going to be who I am. You're going to get work probably even worse because I see you in person. Now I can really be just more aggravating. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to people who have met me in person. Um, and if you want to meet me in person, I might do, uh, I'm, try I'm trying to think about where I can do a greet and meet somewhere. But um, anyway, that's down the line, man. That's down the line. We got to do some building and work to do. I got to this eye hill up and everything. But um, these guys, over-the-top content, it's not original. They're just doing stuff for likes. You don't want to be around somebody who's just acting crazy for likes. You want to be around somebody who's just actually crazy. You get what I'm saying? They're nasty. Just, and this is who they are. You can tell these guys, Kai Sennett isn't acting. You know what I'm saying? He's acting. I don't know how, who watches these people. It has to be children. But my son watched Corey Kenshin. I don't support grown men making content for children. I don't support it at all. Maybe a woman, maybe a man with his family. But if you're just a grown single dude with no kids, no girlfriend making content for kids, I just find it weird. Him, gaming with Kev, all those guys are weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all playing, y'all making, y'all got to act like children all day. Y'all in y'all 30s. Like, why don't y'all want to retire soon or just understand like, hey, I can't do this. Whatever pays the bills, whatever floats your boat, cool. So, Kai Sin had a situation at his home where he had a party. Um, a girl, she's a TikToker, and you know what happens when a bunch of young 20 year olds get around each other, things happen, okay, everybody got drunk, this, the girl ended up going upstairs to sleep, and she says a dude came in there, and he messed around with her, she said it was out her consent, and when it's out her consent, it becomes a different level, okay, it becomes, um, we're going to say rapper, okay, just, just take a pee out, and they are, okay, we'll call, he, so he, he was a rapper, he rapped her, he rapped her, rap rapper okay so she i feel, hope she goes to the cops one hope she goes to the cops and uh this is kai Sinnott's second time of having this allegation um i don't usually when you start seeing guys have these allegations multiple times they they do kind of be creeps from what my history of time being on this earth usually if a dude has a uh, an allegation of him being a weirdo and then another one did i get around him i like yeah he gives he shows me weirdos i guarantee you if I was to be around Kai Sennett, I'd see some creep weirdo tendencies. They, those guys look weird and thirsty. And then, and then they're in the age of that generation of where everybody's hyperly sexualized, right? Everybody's chasing, 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 chasing one thing. Now, the girl said she got drunk at the party. He said, look, don't go home. Go upstairs and go to sleep. Red flag number one. He could have got her an Uber home. Y'all rich. You're rich. You could have got her an Uber black. You know, you could have paid somebody else to take her home. Well, I said, hey, go up my stairs and sleep at a party. It's a party going on. So with a party going on, people have alcohol in the system. With men, when they get I know when I get alcohol in my system, you know what I'm saying? 
I know I, I, I become out of body. I don't be myself. I get a little more flirtatious if I'm drinking. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know I'm smart enough not to fully and throw myself on a lady. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I understand when you're drinking alcohol, you become out of character. So that, there's red flag number one. Why I had offered a girl to stay upstairs in a house where there's a house party going on. People coming in and out of rooms. It's loud. I'm pretty sure there was only a few 30-year-olds, a few 40-year-olds there. And there's probably no chaperones. You need chaperones at a party, at least somebody there to protect and watch the party. Okay? That's any party. That's any party. Y'all ever been to a party and see that guy in the corner just quiet? I guarantee you the person, he's, a, he's just a weirdo or somebody designated him to be there to watch over the party. Okay? And uh, so that's red flag number one. And then Kyle said he didn't know the guy who did this to the girl. Um, that's neither here nor there, you know what I'm saying? But still, if you're over the party and this happens on your watch, he, I don't say she has to blame him, number one, you know what I'm saying? But since he offered her to stay at his crib, known as a party, said, hey, get an Uber, you know, or if I had a homegirl, right, and she's drunk, I know that guy's going to take advantage of her. I know this is, I know that's just a given. Because when a girl gets drunk, she might not even know what's going on, but she might pull out a side boob, right? And don't even know she got a side boobed out. Some girls, when they get drunk, they're so drunk, they, be, they flirt with every man there and don't even know they're flirting and being out of body. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this was a girl who I dated. She got really, really drunk and she was so upset. She thought I was going to stop talking to her because she's like, I got so drunk last night. I woke up with a dude on my couch. She thought I believed. I, she said the dude was on the couch. She said, I didn't do nothing with the dude, but I got so drunk. I was dancing everywhere. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. You're going to leave me alone. Like, we just started talking. Like, me and her just started talking. I could care less. If you're, if I'm talking to you, you are free to date and speak to whoever you want to speak to. It's when we get a title and we're serious and we put time into each other. We just started talking like a week ago, like a week and a half. But I think what it was, she probably did more with the guy and she just says he claimed he slept on the couch. She probably ended up doing more with him, right? And then she ended up showing me the videos because she didn't have her phone. So somebody, uh, how she called me, I don't know. She said she didn't have her phone. So she we ended up getting her phone. We got her phone. We seen the videos of her at the party acting crazy. Insane. You know what I'm saying? Insane. I'm like, yeah, you had a wild night. You know what I mean? And that wasn't even her. She was dancing on people and all the other stuff. And I'm not saying the woman is at fault. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying every woman does this. I'm not saying every woman does this. Am I saying alcohol does this to humans? Alcohol does this to male and female. It makes them get out of the body and makes them do things they normally wouldn't do, which could include acting sexual, doing sexual acts, dancing, being provocative, being flirtatious, being loud. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had another situation where my sister, uh, matter of fact, I'm kind of, me, me wait to tell this story. So what you should also do when you're at a party, if you're a female, you need to have backup. You need to have somebody there as a DD. Ladies, when ladies are out at parties, y'all have to stop being naive. I see y'all out like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm a lady. Feminist. Stop that stuff. You're a lady. You're a guy. There's guys. Men, predator, prey. You have to be precautious. You need you a gay friend, a guy friend, or a, a trustworthy homegirl, okay? Or at least make sure, or at least don't get drunk. Ladies, please don't get drunk. Remember that girl, her name was, who, who passed last year, Shaniqua, something, camp, I forgot her name. She was drunk around people who, who didn't like her. If you're going to get, I'm the crazy drunk when I'm out. All my friends have stories of them taking care of me at some point. And I love my friends for that. I'm blessed to have the friends that I have. Because I haven't gotten drunk and my friends have made sure I was safe. One time I got so drunk, I was at some stranger's house. I, I was so drunk I couldn't find my car. And I even walked into these white people's house and they let me sleep on their couch. These were the nicest people in the world. You know, I'm blessed to be in these situations. What if I was a female and I'm drunk walking around and I knock on these people's door and I go in their house and they take advantage of me? You know what I'm saying? It's different if you're male and female. There's a difference, okay? We're not the same body, okay? Make sure this thing recording. I'd be mad if I do this talking thing recording. Now, back to what I was saying. If you're a lady, you need to be out. You need to be protected. Watch your drinks. Please, ladies, watch your drinks when you're out, okay? Because I guarantee you, Mr. Pena can say, well, I laid in bed with her and she started moving. She was under intoxication. She was under, you know, Dagan well, she was sober. She wouldn't even give you a chance, all right? He could, he could say that. That could be what it says. I advise her to go and get law enforcement. Most women need to do that. 
And it's hard to go through law enforcement. I understand there's a lot of pressure. You, that's why you got to have a strong support system. Start building relationships. I never understood the value of building relationships until now. Until having good, strong people in your corner. Contacting people. Keeping them on, your, on, your, on, on the go. People that actually wants to be in around you. Keep a good, strong circle around you. So when you go through the situation, say you have to go to the police station, you have a strong corner of people around you that can speak positivity in your ear. That can be, that can help you go through a hard, it's hard to go through that. I understand as a woman, it's really, as a woman, it'd be really, really hard to go through that. And I'm a man, so I would not know. If I, if I was something happened to me, you know, I'm seeking violence. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why she ain't got her brother to knock him out yet. We know the guy got a name. If y'all need me to come jump him, y'all can pay me $10,000 right now. Kyle send it and whoever your TikTok girl is, send me $10,000. Fly me to where he's at. I will handle him. Okay? Me and, matter of fact, I'm not need more than $10,000 because I need three people. I can spend $10,000 three ways. We're going to just get, pay for our spot, our flight, our hotel. We will handle him. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, if y'all have an issue out there with some guys, y'all, we need a beat-up crew. If there's a beat-up crew, he would have thought twice about that. All right? Now, about the story of having somebody there to protect you one time my sister got really really dry i remember the story like it was yesterday my sister doesn't drink okay one sip of alcohol she's out so we there was two girls we was hanging with and they they've been cool I, like one of the girls i was cool i graduated with and there's another girl who's her friend they have been chill i'm i done built trust with these females so we go to the party my sister's in the back seat drunk i said hey let me crack a window and lock the door, man. Let me go in here and see real quick. She said, don't lock my doors, Pat. I'm like, hold up. My sister's back here. I said, um, I don't have my car. I'm trying to at least walk in to see if I see somebody I know who can drive her home or can you ride us back home. She said, no, I ain't riding her back home. Leave her in the back seat and don't lock my doors, Pat. She looked like Cartman and talked like Cartman. <laughs> no lie. And fellas, I will say this. This is something that women do. Um, not all women, but some women and some, I don't see it often in men, but men do this as well. But some women do this. I see this quite often in some women. They just have to be difficult. I see this sometimes in men. I can, I can see when a man's going to be difficult. Like, there's no issue why I couldn't have locked that door while my sister was in there intoxicated. Anybody could have came in and took advantage of her. I had to stand out there by the car and call people to come get her out of there. You know what I'm saying? Come get us out. Now, we never hung with them people ever again. And as soon as you cross me one time, they never got to be cool ever again. I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? But that showed me that if I wasn't there, who knows what could happen to her that night. You know what I'm saying? So when ladies, when y'all in this situation, please watch your drink levels. I understand when you're drinking, it's kind of hard or not, but watch it. You're going to have an embarrassing night. You're talking to a guy who's getting drunk and having embarrassing nights. My mama got a video of me from the other day, from G December 30th, if I needed her to send me. I rapped all the Migos songs. I got a stupid drunk de December 30th. I rapped every Migos song. And I, I blacked out. I like, yo, I, that's embarrassing. But I had fun. I was with my mom. I was in a safe environment. If you want to get blacked out, drunk, make sure you're in a safe environment. Because sometimes it happens. Sometimes you want to pour shots. You just want to black out. You want to drink. Now, not everybody blacks out drunk. But me, I'm, I'm a person. If I get too many drinks, either I'm going to black out or start crying. And I, I do cry and I get drunk. I'm a crier. <laughs> it, just, it is what it is, man. It depends on what I'm drinking. I cry. But uh, I like to rap when I get drunk. And I like to and I cry. But uh, I try to stay away from drinking only, only on occasions now. It's, it's an occasion. Sometimes I have my moments where I'm like, you know what, I'm off of work. Let me get a beer. But I, I'm trying not to do that everyday drunk type of stuff that I was on at one point. But ladies, please watch yourself. Uh, Kai sent it. You got to take this on the chin. You're going to, you, you need to start throwing house parties. You're a young man. You don't need sexual allegations on your, not, your name right now. No man needs that. I don't even want that on my name. And I know that in my past, I did some things at parties that I'm not, I'm not proud of. I remember one time there was a girl at a party and i was acting belligerent on the way at the party she started dancing i think i put my whole head in her dress she looked at me like and i remember seeing her at my job like two days later i just, like i was embarrassed this is in 2008 you know what i'm saying that's considered assault <laughs> to say if you put your whole head like come on man that was embarrassing now if i see that young lady today i apologize for that i'm pretty sure she forgot but i have forgot i look back at that day it's like it's a day like yo what are you thinking you know you can't be upset at yourself, but you was wilding out. You was wilding out. You was drinking. You was wilding out. You was you was uh, 17 years old. You know what I'm saying? But um, you don't want that on your name. What if that girl like, oh, he he's 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 a weirdo. They put that on my name. I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? And then this is before the internet. Now, what if that happens today? It's all on the internet. It looks it's hard to get off your name. You got to be focused and thinking about your actions, man. What's the point of having a house party and stuff, man? Like you're you're a rich 
celebrity kid, make your money. You need to make your money. But that's why I think these people are in, that's why I think these guys are all in the Illuminati. So I think everybody's in a secret society or something like that or just doing stuff because the stuff doesn't make sense sometimes. He might be going through a humiliation ritual. You know, some people want to say, is he going through a humiliation ritual? It could be. He got, you got to get humiliated to make it through the ranks in these things because it doesn't make sense, man. You're a young black kid. You know, you're probably in, I don't know how old he is. If he's old, man, you got, who, power to him. He's like in his 30s. I consider that older. But um, yeah, man, all powers be to him, man, if he's doing that. But still, man, like, you don't need it on your record, all right? You don't need no woman out here saying you did this. You got two of them on your record, man? Come on, man. Two allegations? You need to calm that down, man. You need to start thinking about your exes, who you hanging with. But it's the boy, Dwayne McClain, at Dwayne McClain TV, man. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe, man. That's all I got to say on that topic. Let me know what else y'all want to blog on, man. I did my best trying to give y'all that PG-13 YouTube guidelines content. Let me know what y'all want to blog on. My main channel's back up, and we're going to be acting belligerent as I don't know what on that channel. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out.